<laughs> hey guys, <laughs> it's me again, and of course, this will happen to be like Halloween because Halloween is what Wednesday, so yeah. I still don't know what I want to be for Halloween. I don't know. But anyway, I figure something out, I'm sure. Um, but I know y'all probably wonder, like, oh, she already started. I did. I did apply the latex in the tissue paper already in areas that I wanted. And I did that off of camera because, you know, that's kind of like time consuming. I'm kind of being a little lazy today. I know. I'm sorry. But it is what it is. So. Today I decided I'm going to do the Bride of Frankenstein. And I purchased this little uh, makeup little palette thing from Walmart. As you know, Walmart has the Halloween section. And this was what, $1.98. But as you all too know, if you watch the videos, if you listen, then you know that all of the stuff that I pretty much have been using, it actually came from Walmart. So you can create some pretty cool looks out of you know Walmart merchandise for not the expensive price so I don't know I don't know I just knew about this so early just knew. okay I'm back oh um, yeah, yeah. I don't know about this one. I don't, I don't know about this one. Not. I should just probably be. Just normal. I just have my own skin color. Because this green is like, it's, and it's grease paint. So right now it's like real greasy. So yeah, I decided to switch it up and do a voiceover. What I'm doing right now is I'm taking some translucent powder and I'm applying that all over the paint so that it'll stay in place because after all it is grease paint. And I'm also going to dust the latex that I applied on my face as well because I didn't do that after I applied it. I was like putting a lot of powder on my face. Now I'm applying some of that grease paint onto the latex to give it some color. And out of the Halloween looks that I've done so far, um, which one did you guys like? I like them all, of course, but you know, which one did you guys like the best? So right here, I kind of got ahead of myself I thought I was recording and I wasn't but what I did was I took the green from the take me back to Brazil palette and I'm just using that to contour parts of my face where I normally would contour with a dark brown I'm just um or brown I'm just applying that green there to give you know my painted face um you know, a little bit more personality. Now I'm gonna take black eyeshadow and I'm just applying that up under the green eyeshadow. Because after all, I am kind of like dead. I just have pieces from you know other people, Frankenstein Bride, you know, 
I was made, so I gotta make it look, you know, a little rotten. I would say a little, make it look dead. <laughs> make it look unreal. So yeah, I'm just applying that black um, in with that green eyeshadow that I used. And I'm just going to go back in with some more of that green and kind of like even it all out. Blend it out, I would say. So that it don't look so, you know, harsh. And I'm just going to continue to keep on applying back and forth with the black eyeshadow and the green in certain areas. Just so I can get it to my liking. just you know adding a little bit more definition um, in some areas um, I'm putting that green eyeshadow there to kind of you know still blending you know how it is and now I'm taking the shimmery green from that take me back to Brazil palette and I'm using that as a highlight which that green kind of worked out pretty good. I wasn't expecting for it to be like so like, you know. Yes, I like come through, come through. Yes, Miss Frankenstein. And now I'm going to take my black eyeliner pencil and I'm just filling in my eyebrows. Just making them um, a little bit more dark. I never really use black on my eyebrows. Because I don't know, using black, it just, it just makes it just be like so unreal to me. So for this situation, black worked out great. Now I'm just going to take some black eyeshadow and I'm going to apply that on my eyes. I'm just going to apply that on my eyes. And I'm also going to take it up under the eyes as well. And right here I actually was on the phone having a conversation so... Know why you know people want to call you when you're doing stuff, but hey, ain't stopping nothing over here though. So, yeah, I'm just gonna keep on applying, and now I'm taking some of that green shimmery eyeshadow from that palette and I'm putting that um right up under my eyebrows to give it a highlight up under my brow bone I'm just smoking that out up under the eye so that kind of can you know connect all the way around then I'm gonna take my eyeliner pencil and I'm just Placing eyeliner on, on my eye. To kind of cover up any of my, you know, skin that's peeking through. Now I'm going to take that purple, which is a pretty purple. And I'm just going to apply that right in the center part, in the inner part of my eye, my eyelid, for the eyeshadow. taking some more of that shimmery green and I'm putting that in my tear ducts to give it that you 
you know, fancy, glamoury type of look. Now I'm going to take my lipstick and I'm just going to apply that on. And now look at my face. See, it's, I gave myself more definition. And as you can see, I've already cut the latex. Now I'm just going to take the interest X palette. And I am going to start filling that in. As you all know, that's like my favorite part. Whenever you have something gory going on. I don't know why I like it. Maybe I'm a little bit cuckoo. I don't know. But I'm just going to take that burgundy and I'm going to apply that around the latex. did I mean did I really need to do all that but I wanted to too this is my version of the Bride of Frankenstein so and I'm just blending that out I'm just going to do the same thing to all of the little cuts that I have. I'm going to um, apply that around the latex. Really, really? Don't mind me. My dog is like doing the most right now but I'm just gonna keep on doing that and blending and smoothing out um while I was away I went on and I put the red from the injury state palette I put that inside of the cut And I don't know what, what the devil I was doing right there, but now I'm taking uh, some of the black from that same injury stack, uh, and I'm putting that inside of there with the red, you know, to give it a little bit more depth. So this is the final look of my Bride of Frankenstein. I hope you guys enjoy watching. Um, it was quite difficult here, but you know, nevertheless, I got it did, and this is my own take on the Bride of Frankenstein. And don't forget to like, subscribe, thumbs up, and hit that subscription button. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, she looks real classy. And I could have cut those circles, but you know, I was just a little lazy, so I just didn't feel like doing it. But you guys still love me anyway, so until next time. Happy Halloween.